Kingdom Hearts is gonna be good. Yeah, it is. Hey, Mizaku. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I'm really looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3. It is going to be super satisfying. The main problem is just, of course... There it is. Uh, Reminds me of that time. Just time. Okay, before I go anywhere, let's let's not waste time. Let's let's drink the drinks. See you around, buddy. You will never ex escape the curse of Kingdom Hearts. I might. I just need to beat some things. You can do this. Uh, okay. Oh no, the cannons are up this way. I'm ready. Now she's... Yeah, now. Missed half of them, probably. Okay, for better or worse... I'm just gonna load the cannons. I could hit her now. But it seems like wailing on her with with cannon fire is the best best option. Weirdly enough, Sega seems to have published the most amount of Godzilla games. Weird. It's kind of an odd horse to bet on, but I guess most Godzilla games came out like a while ago. Okay. Nope. I thought I was going to wedge beetle. Instead, my character just stupidly ran off the edge. All right. Uh, I thought there was a cannon over Yeah, there is a cannon over here. Okay, now she's going away. I was hoping she'd turn left and just wreck her from here. I wonder why you're still awake. Uh, I'm a bit of an insomniac. Uh, so... This is going to sound kind of stupid or sass sappy or whatever, but before I started dating Shell, I would frequently just not sleep, because um, I don't need to. Um, I mean, I do get tired, but I'm completely nocturnal. Generally. Uh, if I don't have to sleep, I won't. Uh, and then I'll, you know, get up in the middle of the- well, get up in the middle of the day and whatever. So without Shell gone, I don't get tired. Okay, I- I am getting a little bit tired. I'm definitely more reticent than I was earlier. Let's see, is there another cannon here? I was gonna get a- I'm getting excited. Nah, a kind no cannon. Got her with the falling boulders, though. Good shit. Okay. Um, but so, like, I will just stay up, more or less, until I get done with what I wanted to get done for the day. And so, in this case, I want to get, uh... I wanted to get done with a ton of Monster Hunter, because I've been promising to do this for ages. Like, I've, I've been wanting to, uh... I've been wanting to do, uh, you know, another round of Monster Hunter, but between Kingdom Hearts and all the other JRPGs that I've never, ever finished. It's rough. Okay, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible. I fucking hate Gajolka. Did that one hit me at range? That one's got a goddamn mortar. I hope you guys are utilizing those cannons I left for you. Because I'm on a mission of vengeance. There we go. Mission of Vengeance complete. Fuck a Jelka. I mean, they. I think they are. No. Some of them drop, drop shit for me. There's a lot of scattered gold ships here. 
You've picked up Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni is a massive time seek. It actually hasn't been that much of a time seek. Holy shit. Um, just because uh, Shell's gone, like, I mean, obviously she'll be back, I say it kind of dramatically, but uh, Shell is off at, uh, at a convention, Toracon, and her parents' house and stuff like that. And so, uh, she hasn't been around to do Nino Kuni, so we've done, I think we've only played Nino Kuni like five times at this point. Uh, we just play it for five hours at a time. <laughs> Um, four hours at a time, I guess that would make more sense. Okay, uh, more footprints. There we go. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so because Shell's not gone, I'm just kind of doing whatever. And I like playing this game. I don't know. Probably gonna stream all day tomorrow, too. Grab this while the grabbing is good. Get out of here, Crystal Burst. I got more important things to do. Actually, you know what? No, I don't. Well, squandered that. Giant Horn's been shipped. Oh, you're taking the gold off of her. This hurts. Okay, anyway, Wander, will you ever play uh, Xenoblade on my on your channel? Yes. I absolutely will do a series on uh, the first Xenoblade. Time is the main issue. I'm a fairly busy dude. I'm a fairly busy dude, and so the idea of picking up a, a fairly old JRPG is kind of tough. Ow, 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 oh, I need that one. Well, we're okay. Um... But so, well, I'd really re really love to play uh, -oh. uh old school you know blade there's not another one okay i really want to grab this before it's gone i think crystal burst i mean i guess it does decent damage i guess i should probably get up here see if i can mount it Bug. There's the witch beetle. Hope she comes back this direction in a second. I guess I'll just get over here. Oh, she's going down. All right. There goes my chances of mounting her, but whatever. Why are there all these slinger bits here? It's annoying. Okay, there we go. Um, blah, blah, blah. Trying to, trying to think words here. And I'm not thinking words. This is the problem when I do start hitting my limit of being tired. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not very eloquent when I'm tired. I'm just kind of chatty. I'm calm and I'm chatty. And that's, I guess, all I need. Okay. Didn't get it. Ow. I actually have no idea which boulders you're supposed to drop. Presumably that thing. But I don't have shit that I can drop on her.
I got really lucky there. That was out. Oh, she was ready for me there. I'm just gonna be here wailing away. It doesn't look like the uh doesn't look like the other group has broken anything major yet. Which is good. Holy! You got her good with that one. 1,500 damage. Yeah, I was trying to hit her with that earlier, but you know what? You got it. You're extremely tired. You start overheating like an overused computer. Dude, I did the same thing. Um, That's usually the 30-something hour mark for me. Uh, any More than that, uh, like more than 30 hours, and I start overheating like crazy, and I have to take like a shower every eight hours. Otherwise, I, I can't. I've tried, uh, I, I've, I've tried. I've not slept for like five days straight, and it is a rare occurrence that I come out of that feeling good. You do hallucinate by the fifth day, by the way. Like, that is, that is a straight up thing. It's not a fun thing either. It's like everybody thinks, like, hallucinations. Oh, it's funny. Fuck, yuck, yuck. But no, you just kind of lose your shit. And like, you hear you hear things that people say, but they don't say shit. And you like, you're really sensitive to anything anybody says. So if somebody says something, um, if anybody says anything to you, uh-oh. Oh, that was close. I almost got fucking gajalkas. They're only going for me too. That's that's always the most frustrating part. Oh, I'm just gonna toss this on. Nope. Too late now. Okay. I'm almost out of mega potions because I keep almost drinking them. Wonder why did you stay up for five days? Um, art college is hell. Uh, well, that was weird. If I ever seem particularly like uh, natty at people for like disrespecting art, it's because I went to art school. <laughs> um, so I, I was a particularly devoted. Uh, I was a particularly devoted student. Like, I would take 20 credits a quarter. Not because I needed to, but just because, like, it gave me something to do. Um, my freshman year of college, I went to, I, I joined a frat. And the frat was computer science related. Uh, but it was filled with a bunch of nerds, which, you know, was fine. Um, for a while, anyway. But, uh... So there, there were a ton of nerds to hang out with, and these were nerds with like a chip on their shoulder and then some. If you were, if you weren't uh, working your ass off day in day out, you didn't belong there. Fucking Gajalka! Jesus Christ! Um. Good work, Fibers. And so they were, they were constantly kind of pushing each other to work for extremely long hours on everything. From it, personal projects to, like, internships to everything. These were, these were guys that, like, worked themselves to the bone. For fun. And I... I didn't have a work ethic going into college. That is such a... Break this tail. I don't think you can break it. You might be able to. Um, but so I didn't have a work ethic going into uh, 
uh, going into college. I kind of did, but I played a lot of video games. And I had a lot of fun, but, you know, I didn't work as hard as I could have. Um, but I realized, uh, actually, as silly as this sounds, I met Shell. Um, I broke the- I broke the tail. But I realized- oh, we lost Shadestar. Um, but I realized I was a shitty artist. And I realized that I was not going to be, uh, I wasn't going to be good enough. And so, I'm just gonna hide under it on the other side of this. Okay, uh, I realized I wasn't gonna be good enough for art school. You know, I wasn't going to be able to make a good webcomic, I wasn't going to be able to, uh, just collecting shit. Oh! I wasn't going to be able to pull off my dreams. Because I didn't want to just be the guy that played video games his entire life. That was a lucky roll. Holy shit. That was a less lucky thing. Ow. Okay, it did get hit by her. What lava do I still have my booster? I still got my booster for a second. I'm just gonna hang out here. Um, and so, more or less, I realized that I sucked and I needed to work harder. So, after freshman year, when I could finally take uh, classes related to shit I gave a shit about, I decided I'm just going to do too much. Uh, so. If I was taking less than, um... If I was taking less than 18 credits... I was doing it wrong. <clears throat> and more or less, I, I just put myself into kind of overwork mode. And I've never actually really escaped from that. I've, I've more or less realized my, my key to success in life... My key to success in life is just to over board everything. And it's actually, I mean, it's, I've done fine. Um, but so, yeah, Shell is just that much better than me, so I'm like, okay, yeah, screw it. Jesus, that's a lot of lava. Holy shit, the range on that. She is pissed off. Okay, um, but yeah, more or less just put myself into, like, super overwork mode, uh, and that's fine, uh, because it worked out, uh, so I, w I would take, you know, 18, 21, whatever credits a quarter, and, uh, so one year for finals, I had, I think it was, like, 11 projects due in a week, And they had all been assigned the week before. It's not that I was slacking on them. I just didn't have a choice. Weapon durability. I know. You try finding a dull moment to uh, whetstone. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so I had like 11 projects that had been assigned the week before. Like... Multiple per class, and these are like 10 hour long illustrations. So I had about 100 hours of work to do in a week. Uh, and I had to, I had to go to class during this. This is such an epic boss fight. Oh no, 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 that's my whetstone. I don't want my whetstone anymore. I want more potions. There we go. Um, and so, yeah, I more or less had to 
because I had to attend these classes to even, like, go for my final critiques. I realized, yeah, I'm not going to be able to sleep this week. And I didn't. I didn't sleep that entire week. I think I had two two-hour naps. And they were because I slept through one of my final critiques. My professor didn't care so much because, you know, my projects turned out well. Trying to grab all the material before we go. Footprints and whatnot. Look, lady, I'm just trying to track you. I'm just trying to figure out where you where you go, how you go. I'm gonna max it, max this goddamn boss out before she leaves. I hope this event shows back up frequently. Woo! Ooh. Don't wanna be there for that. There we go. Anything else I'm missing? Nope. That's it. Hot damn. Well, that went forever. Shade Star, did we lose you for uh, for good tonight? We kicked ass, and we're not even done yet. We got one more round. <laughs> Reward levels eleven already. Gathering maniac, hell yeah. Uh, that was the second one, right? Yeah, that was. I am really looking forward to tomorrow, because not only am I going to be awake, but as all evidence points to us probably kicking more ass. Um, But yeah, so I, I just didn't sleep for that entire week, and it was awful, and I was hallucinating, and I mean, I got all my projects done. I, I kicked ass. I did really good. Um, And I was not, I was not expecting to do as well as I did. All right, I'm going to queue this one up. I don't know how... Uh, soon the other team's going to start. So hop in as soon as you guys can, then we'll eat and gather items and whatever. Because I'd love to do another round of that. Because one way or another we're going to hit max, uh, max reward. I'm going to be pissed if I don't get anything. I'm confused in college. What other classes did you have to attend? Uh, hey, Lucifer is joining us too. Okay, your internet died to you. Died on you. Oh, um. There we go. Cool drink. Okay, uh, let's see. So, what other classes did I take? I almost didn't. For the most part, I actually, uh, only took art classes. I took what I did. And this ended up being a really bad mistake. Um, so freshman year, you just kind of took whatever classes, which for the most part were art. There was some, like, you know, side classes like writing and whatnot. Uh, but freshman year art, art school is actually pretty much just art. Just really broad. We had to do a bunch of industrial design and drawing and uh, pottery. I did pottery. I don't know. It was kind of boring. Um... But, uh, so then sophomore year starts and I load up all of my art classes because I'm excited to finally, you know, do art for a class and, like, have professional training. And then, uh, then I realized, oh, yeah, if I don't, like, start doing some of my, my non-art related classes, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, because, you know, I need to finish them. So what I did was super stupidly... I took every single optional class for my entire four-year college, sophomore year winter. I had to, uh, I had to more or less cram, I think it was 20 credits worth of, like, philosophy and ethics and, um, a little bit of writing, uh, debate. It was, like, a shit ton of classes. It was a ridiculous amount. Um, and so ended up, what ended up happening more or less was, uh, I, I just had a bunch of really boring classes, uh, that I had to, like, do, you know, out-of-class work, like, uh, reading books, 
let me tell you, how, stacking up all of your your shitty classes in one week, or in one week, one uh, one semester seems like a really good idea. Uh, but you kind of end up losing your mind a little. I'm not even going to go for the other cannon. Hopefully it doesn't turn right. Somebody wants to load the other cannon. She's probably going that way. Just based on how she moves. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I had like psychology classes and whatnot. Uh, the only one that was really a problem was psychology because it was all work from the book. And... Okay. She's still there? Oh, she's going the other way. Okay. So it looks like you guys you guys picked the the right cannon to Ooh, you dropped some rocks on her. Uh is the next cannon loaded? Okay, fire cannon. Fire cannon! Okay, next cannon. Next cannon's loaded and ready. Fire it as soon as she's in range. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get that one. Holy shit. I don't think we're gonna get a better first round than that. Drop the rocks on her and uh, hit her with two cannon shots. Oh, Slinger Bomb. Should probably grab one of those. Yeah, it looks like she's heading for zone two already. Perfect. Okay, um, but yeah, so the psychology was the only problem, one that was a problem, because ethics was fun, because we got to read a lot of, like, eth ethical conundrums, and, like, quandaries and whatnot, and moral issues, uh, which was really, really cool, and the debate was fun, kind of for the same reason, mainly because we didn't actually have to read anything for it, we more or less just showed up to class and talked about ethics and, like, moral relativity, moral relativity and stuff, it was rad. Uh, we had one idiot in class who... Her arguments were always like, you don't know my life, therefore you're wrong, and I'm right. And it was just like, oh, you're one of those people. You're one of those real dumb people. Oh. We're in this section. I was gonna try and mount her. I feel disappointed. Okay, there we go. Um, but so, uh, so she. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I'll just hit her while we're here. Okay. Uh. But yeah, I don't know. Most of the classes were really fun. I had a class on terrorism. It was really cool. Because uh, it was... Oh, wow. Hey. That's a nice view. Because, um, you know, it's was talking about, like, domestic terrorism and, you know, international terrorism and stuff like that. It was a class I was not expecting I'd, I'd take in college, but it was interesting to see uh, just how many different types... guy in your class that like to argue in sort of fashion fascist and Nazi stuff yeah we did too my politics class had a white nationalist in it uh, it was really funny because um, my politics teacher uh, which I also took god damn how many classes did I take that I was six classes I think um, but my politics teacher uh, was one of Reagan's uh, Ronald Reagan's, like, command, uh, command, uh, uh, one of Ronald Reagan's campaign managers, uh, when he was younger, like, more or less kind of the intern sort or something like that. Uh, that's not where I was going, but that, whatever. Stop doing that, you dunce! Climb! Uh, and so the guy had kind of seen it all, and he was, like, pissed at that kind of thing because, you know, he, he, the white nationalists were still kind of trying to, um... 
Hello? Is it face smacky time? Nope, it's chest matching time. Okay, uh, but yeah, so so the campaign manager guy was more or less... Oh, wow, she's already leaving. Okay, uh, was, you know, sick of that kind of thing, because even back then, white nationalists were trying to kind of make their way into the Republican Party. Uh, and so, like, he had to actually fend off supporters and whatnot that, that were trying to, you know, bring about that kind of thing. Uh, so he had, no, he had none of the students' shit, and he's like, you know, everything about what you're saying is wrong. I've never heard a teacher straight up just tell a person that they're evil. Uh, <laughs> this was one of the first times I'd ever, I've had her, eh, ever heard like a professor more or less shut somebody down to that level. It was cool. Okay, I should read this before we go too far away. I have an ultimate university story. Your first degree was a psychology degree at a new university. Day before you graduated, the university said that your degree was not going to be recognized by the Australian Board of Psychologists, so none of you could practice. That sounds like something that you could sue over, and probably win. Boop! Hello! I am in a dangerous spot. I am in the safest spot. Oh, we lost Prioris this time. That's a bad place. This is bad places. This is bad places. How did I live through that? I have no business living through that. Did I ever get the rock power grade sword? I didn't. I should have. It would have been rad. It'll probably show up again. They never gave us any promises in writing, so you had no proof of the court case. It still feels like something that you probably could sue over. I don't know. It feels like a college, any college degree by nature should promise that it is accredited. And if it doesn't, uh, then they had no business charging for it. I actually had a friend like that now that I'm... Oh, wow. All right, we're here. Ow. Oh, I thought she was just going to leave. Hey! Horns are broken. All right, fight's over. I mean, fight's not over. Word of mouth first year. You can, well, I guess it depends on Australia. I don't know enough about Australian law. But I know in like a number of states in the US, uh, word of mouth promises are absolutely like a bindable contract, especially if there's consideration. If I promise you that I'll, I'll, you know, buy you a copy of Monster Hunter World when it hits BC, I guess technically I'd, I'd have to do it where you can't record me because, you know, that would, that'd be foolhardy because that's not a verbal promise at any point. That's a, that, that's technically written. Um, but I know in California, um, verbal, verbal contracts absolutely are enforceable as long as you can prove reasonable doubt that, uh, you know, such a contract would have existed, like, say, fucking Gajalkas. Uh. Good work, Vibers. Now get out there and show us all stuff. Damn it. Uh, like, say, if you went to college and paid them a bunch of money. It's a good time for this. Holy shit, she hurts. Ow. Thank you, 
Vitality Mantle. Let me break your tail. I don't think I'm gonna break your tail from here. Uh-oh. I almost rolled into that. That could have gone bad. Not bad. I'm not even there. Dumb dragon. I thought hitting her tail was actually going to be harder. Uh-oh. It didn't end up being actually harder. You got reward 17. Damn. Well... We were reward 11. They're going to speak performance. We were reward level 11 earlier. So, I can foresee us getting up into the 14s, 15s if we're lucky. I mean, if we break the horn. If we break the horn... We might have a chance. Main problem is getting to the point where you can break the horn. Well, there goes the tail. Kind of wish you could actually, like, cripple her tail swings with it. Oh, I knocked her over. This is gonna hurt. No, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, I'm getting better at dodging. Okay. There we go. This is a good sign. I don't think we're gonna break a horn like this. We're gonna have to do this again. But that's a full, full round com uh, hammer combo. I should probably... I should probably just leave. Okay. This is a good time for a health booster. I think down here. Okay. Just hide on the other side of the everything. I'll come back. I wish to hurt you. Just don't die, Koga. We're having a good thing going here. How did I not get smacked? How do I not get smacked on these? Okay, she's gonna leave soon. I don't know how you're supposed to... Yeah, it is absolutely whetstone time. be back here and hopefully the lava okay so it looks like this stone blocks the lava thank you ah. well, we still got two continues so we're good got her yes I wanted to see that cutscene before this event was over she does not look nearly as pretty without those horns All right, so that's probably going to get us one hell of a uh, rank, too. Oh, and that gives us 80 seconds to gather from the horns. Hell yeah! Uh, better hurry, Lucille. All right, that is a good way to end the night. All right, next one. It's okay. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kyrus, you got booted. I'm sorry, Shade Star, you weren't he weren't here. I don't know if uh, Lucifer. Sorry, not Lucio. Lucifer. I don't know if you're gonna make it. It sucks if you. Yeah, you're done. Oh, you're just. Ten seconds. Maybe you can. No. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Okay, so we got stuff. High commendation. It absolutely is brutal. So we got a Miasma Jewel and a Botany Jewel app of level 1. Okay, reward level 17, which I think is the maximum. Hunter rank 40. Yes! Target destroyer, support all store. Oh right, I know why. Yeah, that was about as satisfying of an ending as I could possibly have got. Main problem is, uh, what kind of weapons did I get? And how much armor can I make? We'll play more of this tomorrow, I guarantee it. Uh, if you guys actually come back in about 12 hours, I will definitely be playing Monster Hunter then. Which should be enough time for you to go to bed, wake up, and, you know, have a little bit of time. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, obtain rewards. We... What are these, what are these things? Bushy tickets. Show it to the resource center. All right. Motherfucker. I mean, I got some rank 7s, but... Ugh. You'd think for maxing it out, it would be good to go. But no. Yeah, I never got the rocket hammer. I, or, not rocket hammer, rocket greatsword. Unfortunately, I don't know where to get it. It's probably too late now. Ugh. Especially tomorrow. Because I, I think the festival ends tomorrow. Like, sometime around noon. It's a hunter's dream. Is that a quest that I can Oh, you need you need 5. It's easy. God damn it. Do I just stay up a little bit longer? Okay, it's easy. Let's go do it cuz that's the one thing I do care about. I'm going to go to the workshop quick though. This is just going to be one hell of a stream. But yeah, that's that's it for uh for Raid raid hunts for now, because I do actually want to finish something, uh, some of these spring festival things before they go away. I am gonna go see what I can make because we've been fighting, uh, we've been fighting her for four, five hours now, and I should probably, uh, you know, see if I can make a piece of armor or three. Ten hours in here. I didn't be surprised if you couldn't make most of this set. That's... Uh, I don't know. I like this game. I really wish you could actually make weapons from the Gathering Hub. Kind of sucks that you can't go to bed. You have know, working six hours. Totally understandable. For those of you guys that have been soldiering through this stream, thank you. Go to bed if you... uh. Go to bed if you need to. I am not going to judge anybody. Okay, forge equipment. Armor. Alright. Well, I can make all but... Oh, I gotta make a Nergigante... Get a Nergigante gem for the rest of this. Alright, Kulva Toroth Alpha. Huh. Okay, the helmet looks a little dumb. Oh, there's no visual differences between the two. Okay, so stun resistance, critical boost. Yeah, that's pretty good. You're retired. You're in for the duration. Hell yeah. Okay. I might actually be able to make most of this. Free elemental ammo up. Oh, 
Oh, I guess there are some visual differences. It just hadn't loaded. I like the alpha set. It's got some great shit, too. So we lose crit boost, power prolonger, handicraft, agitator. Yep, pretty much sold on every single one. And I might actually be able to make the whole set, save for the helm. And I'll just have to go fight Ner Nergigante tomorrow. All right, uh... Oh. Okay, so I need a golden glimstone, and then I can make the, uh, the spalds. What's wide range do? Oh. That's kind of neat. Is it, I like peak, peak performance. So, I'm not quite done yet. I need to... I need to get this. Well, I don't look half bad as I am. But yeah, actually, I probably should have made... I probably should have made this first. Hmm. I will say the beta version looks maybe a little bit better. But I'll go for the alpha version just because. So we will have to do a bun uh, a bit more grinding. But that's okay. I look like a necromancer decided to be a paladin halfway through. Good god, can you actually get more of a uh, more of a, a disparity between the two sets of armor I'm wearing? 